Hello, hello, hello. Do you need a certification to become a travel agent in 2024? Join me as I dive into the world of travel agents to find out if you really need a certification to succeed in 2024. Hi, my name is Nicole Harris and I'm a um, IntelliTravel travel agent. And I'll be doing this video of, I keep getting asked, do you need a certification to become a travel agent in 2024? So I'm gonna do this quick video for you. So if you're someone who's passionate about traveling and wants to turn that passion into a career, you might be wondering if getting a certified, um, if you're getting certified, is it a must? Excuse me. With the travel industry constantly evolving, it's essential to know what's required to succeed in this field. That's what we're going to explore today. One of the biggest misconceptions in the travel industry is that you need a certification to become a travel agent. Many people believe that without a fancy um, certificate, excuse me, you're not taken seriously or can operate as a legitimate travel agent. However, this couldn't be further from the truth. In reality, the need for certification is often exaggerated, excuse me, leaving many aspiring agents wondering what's fact and what's fiction. Some might argue that certifications are necessary to prove your expertise, but the question is expertise in what? Travel agents come from diverse backgrounds and their skills vary greatly. What works for one agent may not work for another. So is it really fair to say that a certification is the only way to prove your worth? Let's be real. The travel industry is largely unregulated, which means anyone can call themselves a travel agent. This lack of regulation has led to a lot of confusion among aspiring agents, making them believe that certification is the only way to stand out. But as we'll explore later, this isn't the only way to succeed in the travel industry. When it comes to certifications, there are several options available, each with its own set of benefits and drawbacks. You have cert certification, excuse me, like ARC, IATA, and ASTA, which can certainly give you the edge on the industry, but they're not the only path to becoming a successful travel agent, excuse me, travel agent. For instance, some certifications focus on specific aspects of the travel industry, like corporate travel or luxury travel. Having one of these certifications can demonstrate your expertise in a particular area, which can be attractive to potential clients. On the other hand, these certifications often require extensive training, which can be time consuming and costly, very time consuming and costly. Another pathway to becoming a travel agent is through experience and networking. Many um, successful agents have learned through hands-on experience, working with mentors, and building relationships with suppliers and clients. These agents have developed a deep understanding of the industry and have learned to navigate its complexities without the need for formal certifications. In fact, some of the most successful travel agents I know thrive without formal certifications. They've built their business on their passion for travel, their knowledge of the industry, and their ability to um, connect with people, excuse me. They've developed a reputation for providing exceptional service and other, and, um, and their clients love this, you guys. Their clients love this about them. So what's more, the travel industry is constantly changing and certifications can quickly become outdated. What was relevant yesterday might not be relevant for today. That's why having a certification is not a guarantee of success. It's the skills you develop, the relationships you build, and the knowledge you acquire that really matters. So what's the takeaway from all of this? While certifications can be beneficial, they're not the only way to succeed as a travel agent. Passion, knowledge, and experience can outweigh formal credentials any day. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on travel agent certifications. Do you think they're necessary, or do you believe there are only ways to succeed in the industry? Let me know in the comments below, and if you want to learn more about the travel industry, be sure to check out my other videos for more insights and tips. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Nicole Harris. Like, comment, and share this video out to whoever you think it's going to resonate with. 
hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. That way, when I go live, you will see me first. See you on the next video. Have a good afternoon. Bye-bye.